So I've been informed that you have this girl in your life who you don't know if they're gay or not and you want to find out. Maybe you have a little crush on them. Well, sit tight because we're going to talk about how to tell if a girl is lesbian or not. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and a big hi if you're new. My name is Lauren Eloise. It's a pleasure to have you here today. This video is part of the 12 Gays of Christmas. It's a little series I'm doing on my channel where I'm posting every second day up until Christmas. I'm posting both gay and Christmas related content. So uh, if you like this video, you'll probably like the other ones I post too. So make sure you subscribe down below. So I know you've got someone in your life who you don't know if they're gay or not, or you don't know if they're into girls, but honey, I'm gonna help you out. We're gonna talk about things that gay girls do, some obvious and not so obvious hints and signs that they might be gay. Make sure you watch the entire video because I'm about to give you so much information. I made a video a very long time ago about this, but it mainly touched on stereotypes. I want to go deeper than that today. I don't want to talk about the obvious things like if she wears vans or if she wears hats backwards. Literally everyone wears vans and everyone wears Converse, so it's not a really good sign. But let's get into the video. So the number one thing you need to do right now is go to that girl's social media and stalk who she's following. Whether it's Instagram or Twitter or TikTok. TikTok, please, oh my god. TikTok is like a massive, massive sign that's gonna help you figure out if she's gay or not. If she's following a heap of LGBT people on TikTok, man, like, you've got a chance. <laughs> look for people who are just members of the LGBT community like me. Look for YouTubers, look for musicians, look for bands look for actresses, just anyone queer related that this person might be following. Also in the social media world, if she has a little rainbow flag in her bio or like a rainbow, maybe she puts the three little hearts of what the bi flag looks like. Now you've dug through her social media. The next thing to do is notice how she acts. Does she flirt with you? Does she like touch you, hug you, kiss you maybe? Does she compare hand sizes? <laughs> if she's flirting with you, there's a chance that she may be into you. And if she's into you, then maybe she's into girls too. Does she get jealous when you bring up other people or bring up boys? If you can tell like she's a little bit bummed out when you bring up other people, this might be a sign that that, uh, she likes you and she's into girls. Listen, you've got to listen to her. Listen to what she says. Does she compliment or talk about other people's appearance? And if she does, does she talk about girls or guys? If she's often like complimenting girls, like, oh my God, look at that girl. Did you see that girl? Or this person is so pretty. Or I love this musician because she's so pretty or whatever. If she keeps mentioning girls, that's a hint that she's into women. Does she ask you about your sexuality and like your experience and would you experiment with a girl? Are you part of the LGBT community? If she asks these types of things to you, there's a chance that she's in this community herself. Is she vague about who she likes and like her love life? If she doesn't really bring up guys and being into guys or anyone, there's a chance she may be gay. I know when I was growing up, I would never talk about guys because I just genuinely was not interested. Maybe she never talks about her attraction to men ever. Her interests. You need to know what kind kind of music she listens to. It's a huge hint if she listens to artists like Hayley Kyoko and Girl in Red. Girl in Red especially, you already know this one. Literally only people interested in women listen to Girl in Red. If you don't know what she listens to, just ask her. This is a subtle way of figuring out what she likes or maybe just ask if she listens to Girl in Red for example. It, because it's a subtle way to figure out if she likes women or not without explicitly saying, hey, are you gay? Has she talked in the past about going to Pride or Pride events? Is she part of a GSA at your school? If she's talked about or mentioned these things in the past, that is a a bloody high chance. What TV shows does she watch? What YouTube videos does she watch? If you know that those shows are queer, there's a good chance. But also, again, this is a way that you can suddenly ask her, what does she watch? And if they're queer related, maybe. A good indication actually is, does she have a lot of LGBT knowledge? Does she talk about LGBT people or does she defend them? Does she mention like anyone queer related at all? She might be into girls if she talks about this stuff. So this one is based very highly on stereotypes, but some ways that you can figure out if a girl is gay is through the way that she dresses. <laughs> does she wear beanies? Does she wear hats backwards? Does she wear Vans, Converse? Does she wear flannels? Does she wear chains? A huge thing that came from TikTok is the eyebrow slit. Does she have like a shaved thing in her eyebrow? That's a huge hint that she might be into girls. Does she roll her jeans? <laughs> also short hair, short nails. There is no way to tell if a girl is gay or not just by what she's wearing, but these things are a stereotype 
stereotype and they're a stereotype for a reason because it's so common that gay girls do wear this stuff. But I guess I'm just giving you a warning, like don't take these things as a she's definitely gay if she wears Vans type thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Another way to know if a girl is gay is just by your instinct. <laughs> do you have a good gaydar? Can you tell? from a mile away that a girl is gay. Sometimes, honestly, you just look at people and you just know. Maybe not when you first come out. Definitely, you can develop this over the years. I know now that my gator is pretty spot on. But yeah, sometimes you can just tell. You just, you just feel it inside. This might be obvious, but her dating history, do you know if she's been out with any girls in the past? Even if she's with a guy now, maybe she's bisexual, pansexual, she might be into girls. Okay, the last thing is a fail-proof way of telling if a girl is gay or not, and that is by asking her. You can do this of two ways. I'll give you two options right? Number one, you can be really subtle about it. Maybe if you share that you support the LGBT community or you're part of the LGBT community, just mention some queer topics in general. She might then say something about that and kind of hint that she's on the spectrum too. Ask her if she listens to Girl in Red. That's literally a thing that lesbians do to ask like if a girl is gay, like hey do you listen to Girl in Red? And if she knows the joke then she'll say yes and then there you go. Option number two is just ask her directly. I know it's scary sometimes, but we're in 2020. Being gay isn't looked down upon that much as what it used to be. Generally, our generation, so me, 24 and younger, we're really okay with people being gay. Our younger generation, we're so much more accepting. And if you ask someone that they're gay, I don't think they're gonna have a problem with you asking. Just make sure when you ask, you don't put pressure on this person to answer. Maybe they don't wanna answer. You don't wanna like corner them in a way going are you gay or not like just just be really nice about it you can also do this through text that kind of relieves pressure if people don't want to reply to that they don't have to i do prefer asking people in person because you can judge their reaction and i don't know it's just better to express through your face and through your voice than through text i'm not a fan of text but you can do whatever way you think is best for the person that you are have a little crush on <laughs> so hopefully these things have helped you figure out if this girl is gay or not but before you leave the video just wait wait a second i need you to comment down below your tips because if you share these things down below everyone else who's watching the video and reading the comments this is gonna help them so much i love the discussions that go on in the comments like it's just we all help each other out i need you to leave your tips down below and that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in two days in another gay video. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. I really mean that. Bye. This comment absolutely warms my heart. I didn't think about it this way, but now it's so obvious. I think everyone would get a little laugh out of mum trying to guess LGBT terms. So if you haven't watched that yet, click this little card.